In Diablo 2, bows and crossbows have easily the highest number of exclusive rune words of any weapon type. On top of that, they can get some of the more entertaining rune words available for all weapons as well. As you can probably already tell by the background, I'm a bit of a bow fanatic and actually already have a lot of these in bows too. For the organization in this video, we're going to go from the bottom with things you should never make and move our way up to things that you can actually make some pretty awesome bows with. Though in the middle, things may get a little bit muddy since many of these rune words are strong, but only in very specific use cases. At the bottom, we'll hit the four rune words that 100% fall in the category of these are awesome, just not in a bow. Starting with Call to Arms, made from Am, Rawl, Maul, Ist, and Om, while it actually has fairly decent stats with increased attack speed, enhanced damage, life leech, etc., this fits into the same category as it did with the polearm video, you should be making this in a one-handed weapon to get the full mileage out of it, since it's primarily a pre-buffing weapon. Next up is Fortitude, made with El, Sol, Dole, and Lo, which we only made in a bow to demonstrate its stats in a weapon that will likely get rarely used. While the stats themselves are decent with faster cast, enhanced damage, deadly strike, and resist, this particular rune word will almost always be better served in armor, not a weapon, so it sits in a similar it's not terrible, but you'll get a lot more out of it in something else. A big one you've probably already guessed by the ethereal nature of what we actually have it in is Breath of the Dying, made from Vex, Hell, El, Eld, Zod, and Eth. Making this in a bow still will net you an okay weapon, but it's pretty much wasting the Zod aspect of it, which would be better used in an, a strong ethereal melee weapon, and bows cannot be ethereal. Sure, the 60% attack speed boost, decent damage, dual leech, the stats, they all would be nice, but wouldn't you rather have it on a massive ethereal weapon rather than just a random bow? Last up in this first group of waste is Passion, made with Dole, Ort, Eld, and Lem. It's a fairly decent weapon, though by putting it in a bow, you're putting it in a weapon that can never use Zeal or Berserk, meaning you're just getting a fairly average weapon with a bit of blind. It's best to save this one for a weapon where you can actually use the plus skills that can be used on any character. Next up, near the bottom of the list, are the low-level rune words, or just simplistic rune words that don't do a lot, but also aren't terribly expensive. Starting with Venom, made with Tal, Dole, and Maul, there is one situation where this could actually move up to the somewhat useful, but there's still better choices for it. Basically, when this is used in just a weapon that makes it easier to hit and leeches some mana, that's all that this really gives you, while causing a little bit of poison damage that you get from the tall, though it can be stacked with certain skills to give you some early quick poison damage against more dangerous targets, I still wouldn't usually use it late game because there just are better options for delivering poison at a range. Next up is Zephyr, a very, very cheap rune word that's good for the cost of Ort and Eth. Though it really won't carry you far into the game either, it does have some faster run walk, increased attack speed, and a few other nice perks, and can even cast Twister when something hits you. Though if you're using a bow, you probably don't want to be hit in the first place. It also works oddly well as a low-level Fury Druid weapon, though more as a gimmick than a primary strategy, but it is kind of fun to mess around with the shape-shifting bows. Next up, we have one that's a bit on the cusp, and that is Melody. While this one is just a super simple one that was made for a solo self-found run, thanks to being cheap at Shale, Co, and Neff, this bow can actually be interesting in Amazon-specific bows for some serious plus skills, should you be going with, say, a Mage Zon, such as an Ice Maiden. Though it is worth noting, it lacks Mana Leech, which is the main factor that holds it back from getting into the realm of the rest of the bows, which as we mentioned earlier, each have a specific build or function they can shine in, even if they are sometimes overpriced for the power in many cases. The first in this specific use case group is probably unexpected, and that is Hand of Justice, which yes, can indeed be placed in bows. And it gives some fairly decent mods with increased attack speed, enhanced damage, ignore target defense, life leash, deadly strike, blind, freeze, and reduce enemy fire resist, even tossing in a mid-level holy fire, which sounds like a nice list until you look at the cost, which is Sir, Cham, Am, and Low. You'll almost never see it in the wild due to this, but it does earn a place here due to some C-tier bow builds that can actually be used, but most people don't realize exist, but hey, they're still a lot of fun. Next up is probably the most utilitarian of the bows, and that is Edge. Most often known for its vendor price reduction and Thornzora, it is an extremely cheap rune word that can be quite effective as a low to mid-tier weapon for new characters or rogues. For only a tier, tal, and am, you get the previously mentioned perks, as well as increased attack speed, some attributes, life leech, some indirect damage boost to demons and undead, and a few other minor perks. Is it top tier or best in slot? No, but it has a lot of utility, and you'll often find one floating around in most veteran player stashes in the post game, or even sometimes on some of the more quirky 
builds for necromancer summoners. This next one for me is mostly a mercenary weapon in the post game for when I feel the urge to use a rogue, though it does have some player uses as well, just not necessarily best in slot, and that is Wrath. A bit expensive at Pole, Lum, Bear, and Maul, it is the bow alternative to Reaper's Toll thanks to a chance to cast Decrepify, though that does sometimes get overridden by the life tat, which can be frustrating. Similar to Edge, it has damage bonuses against demons and undead rather than direct damage boosts, but this also packs a pinch of elemental damage, some crushing blow, which is only okay on ranged attacks because it gets a penalty. It also sneaks in a cannot be frozen modifier, which is actually kind of nice on mercenaries, especially rogues, since it's not a trait you normally get on them. If it was cheaper, I honestly could see rogue mercenaries getting a bit more love thanks to that decrepify proc, but due to the cost, it does get relegated to more vanity builds, but it is far from useless. A weird rune word that is actually the cornerstone of a few builds but rarely gets talked about is Brand, the price of Jaw, Low, Maul, and Gull being the probable main culprit for this, since that's pretty bloody expensive. This rune word has a lot going on with solid enhanced damage, exploding bolts, attack rating boost, and ignore target defense, some deadly strike, demon damage boost, knockback, not to mention a 100% chance to cast a level 18 bone spear, and a less likely to trigger chance of amplified damage that requires you to get hit. This bow is used by a few fun side builds for the number of interesting tricks it pulls, and actually does its work fairly effectively despite lacking increased attack speed. Moving into the rune words people are probably more familiar with, we land on Harmony, a nice change of pace compared to the previous expensive rune words. Harmony only costs Tear, Ith, Soul, and Co, and the results in a bow that is very well matched to the cost. With some decent damage boosts, elemental damage, mana recovery, even packs in some allied tricks with revive charges, a class's Valkyrie summon, as well as Vigor Aura to make movement easier for you and whatever mercenary you end up getting, or minion. This bow makes it this high because it's just really good and affordable, and even whenever you've outgrown it, it can be a solid pick for a rogue mercenary on a summoner if you want your summons to keep up with you. Next up is a rune word that often gets argued about on bows, with people dismissing it, others loving it. I'm in the camp of viewing it as a reasonable option for a six socket bow if you have the runes, and that's Silence. A bit pricey at Dole, Eld, Hell, Ist, Tear, and Vex, it still gives you a reasonable amount of power for the cost, and honestly does work well in bows even if it's not the absolute best in slot. It is more than enough to beat the game with, and even farm with, packing plus skills, and increased attack speed, hit recovery, an okay damage boost, some mana leech, blind, fear, some magic find, even a solid 75% resist all, it's far from being bad, and as far as bows go, can definitely sit near the top, even if it's not quite on the podium as far as rankings go. These next two get in here for being insanely good for their specific Amazon builds. First is Phoenix. The fire bow is on weapon, packing great enhanced damage, mana leech, ignore target defense, fire resist reduction, deadly strike, a few other nice mods, and also a redemption aura to keep you topped off. This is somewhat expensive as far as rune words go, and is an indulgence if you want to make a fire Amazon be capable in the few areas it can farm. Though the Vex, Vex, Low, and Jaw may not return its value for quite a while, this can make the build quite fun to run, even if it's not the fastest build ever. The other one being the flip side with Ice for the Cold Bows on, which is not only easier to run than the Fire counterpart, but this bow is cheaper at Am, Shale, Jaw, and Low, so still pricey, just nowhere near as high. This packs a Holy Freeze Aura to keep things slow, a bit less enhanced damage, but several perks to help with the cold damage. It also has Ignore Target Defense, it grabs some Life Leech instead of Mana Leech, and slips in increased attack speed. While mostly known for its use on the Ice Maiden, it does have a few other niche builds as well, which, combined with lower cost, puts it a bit higher on the ranking than its Fire counterpart. And finally, we have a bow that is often considered one of, if not the best in slot option for a boazon, and that is Faith. And it is it more than earns its place at the top of this list, despite its cost of Om, Jaw, Lem, and Eld. With plus skills, enhanced damage, ignore target defense, resist, solid attack rating boost, a pinch of elemental damage, the ability to create reanimated, and a fanaticism aura just to top it all off, it's hard to argue at just how powerful this bow can be. With uses both on endgame versions of the Rogue Mercenaries, as well as being easily one of the best, if not the best, Amazon bow in the game, there's no way this one wouldn't be at the top of a bow runeward list. Though I would stick with having it on a normal bow instead of a crossbow, since you'll likely be shooting it for the fastest frames possible with all these perks, and unfortunately, crossbows generally have a cap that's a bit slower than the actual normal bows. 
So do you have a favorite bow rune word? Do you have a weapon type that you'd like to see the rune words for next? Mention it down below. And a special thanks to the channel members, patrons, and viewers like you for your continued support of this content.